What's up, YouTube? Tony over at Highway 83 Suzuki, living the high life. You know how we do. That's right, we be living the good life over here and playing with Suzuki's. So this is a continuation video of the fan speed switch that so far has gotten about 4,000 views, helped dozens and dozens of people fix that switch. And today we're gonna show a video on how to replace the blower motor resistor. It's located under the dashboard by the glove box there. Very easy to get to, very easy to replace, very cheap. And uh, it will fix up your fan speed if you're if you're only getting the higher settings. That's usually the problem is the resistor. So very easy to replace. We'll get you on there right now. Okay, so like I said, on this vehicle here, I was testing out the switch. I had no no power on this first switch. I had speeds two, three, and four. Two, three, and four all worked. One one did nothing. All the switches are making good, good solid contacts, good firm switching back and forth like we discussed in the first video. So the switch is probably good. First thing I'm gonna go with is the, the resistor. The resistor is underneath the dash. This is a 1996 model. I'm gonna show you how to get to that bad boy right now. Okay, like I said, this is a 96 model. The earlier ones will be slightly different, but to get this down, you're just gonna open up your glove box, squeeze these two in, and pull it down. Simple as that. Now we're gonna get to the resistor, which is right up and underneath here. The pink wires are pointing to the resistor. So this is, this is the issue, very easy to get to. I'm gonna get a closer zoom in right now of that, hopefully, and you'll have a better, better picture of how to get it out. Okay, here we are, closer view. So, it's just this one plug, you're just gonna squeeze in, loosen her up, pull your plug out, get that out of the way, and then there's one Phillips screw right here. It's a little tough to see, it's dark under here, but you're gonna need a stubby, get your wires out of the way, and then you're gonna need a stubby Phillips head screwdriver, and you are gonna unscrew that, and then we're gonna lift the we're gonna lift the resistor up and out of there. All right, here's that little demon himself, that Phillips. He's gone. Get him out of there. Now we're gonna get our filthy resistor. It's been a little dusty in there. We're gonna get him out. This is what we were after. Like I said, there's that Phillips head screw. Uh, the hole where the screw goes. Very easy to get out of there. Once you've done it once or twice, piece of cake. So what we're gonna do, um, I recommend buying these new at the local parts store, AutoZone, O'Reilly's, Advanced, whatever you like, they'll have them. They're not much money, and uh, you know it'll be good or you can return it. So the next step is I'm gonna get my replacement, and I'm gonna actually plug it in, and before I even put it back I'm gonna test the switch to make sure she's functional and then we'll button up all the loose ends okay we've plugged in our replacement I'm just using a, a used one I had laying around the shop just for this video to to show an example for you guys but I know this one was good so I'm just plugging it in I'm not putting it back in or anything like that and uh, now I got my key in the ignition and hitting the switch Oh, yeah, baby! We're on one, two, three, and supersonic speed mode. Look at that. You, you can see she's blowing like a banshee. We're all good. So she's all good. Now you know you can button her back up, put it, put it back, put the screw in, put your glove box back on, and you are golden. You're going to be warm, confident, Time to live the high life, and uh, it's just as simple as easy as that. So, if it ain't the the blower, the fan speed switch, the blower resistor, and uh, I hope you guys are learning a lot from the videos and saving yourselves a lot of money because it's pretty easy to work on these. And uh, I will keep making videos to help you guys out. You guys have a great evening.